Yeah, you're 12 and 17, so you're basically right over the, the halfway point of the season. Uh, you know, with a strong second half, you can still get above 500 and be in contention for a, a regional spot. Uh, is that kind of been the message for the group? Is just even though you guys were a couple, you know, seven games under 500 coming into the series, do you uh, do you kind of look at it and say we're not even at the halfway point? And, you know, what's kind of been the message to them to, to keep them, you know, in it? Well, that's been my message the whole time. I go, you know, call me an eternal optimist, but at the end of the day, we're it's still right in front of us. We got all these teams that are that are we can play and and beat, and there's still plenty of time left. And it's not like what we have to do is this. We don't have to go undefeated. You know, and we just talked about all we have to do is focus on tomorrow. You know, focus today, and then you get through today. Let's focus on tomorrow. That's the most important game. And that's the only game we can think of. But if you're if you're trying to figure out how many wins we need to get in, and and all this other stuff, or what do we need to do, that's too big picture right now. Let's just play well today and see what happens. And then tomorrow we'll play well. You know, I know it's cliche, but it's you know, when they won whatever they won in a row, 23, 24 in a row. They just had to win one game 24 times. Mm. They didn't win 24 all at once. And so that's kind of my message to our guys, is if we think about we have to win seven in a row to get to 500, then what if you lose one? Then is it just all is lost? No. It's just now that's your 18th loss, and maybe we go 7-1 and one over a period of time, and you're 17 and 18. Is that, well, we're better than where we started, and then we just got to keep piecing it together until we get – at the end of the day, if we can focus on that, then at the, you know, it's kind of like a guy looking at the draft his junior year. Start off slow, and then if you focus on that and you're never going to hit, you're never going to hit, then you're never going to hit. But if you just, hey, today I just need to put it together. I just need to put good passes on the ball. I need to do this. And then at the end of the year, you're hitting 300. What we're worried so much about the first three weeks of the season. The same thing applies here. If we're playing really well at the end and, and we get in because we've played well in the second half of the season, I'd much rather that than play well at the beginning and play crappy at the end and then get in and then go two and out. Mm-hmm. I'd much rather be hot at the end, find a way in, and feel like you can be world beaters. Coach, getting a, another win uh, against Arizona State to take the series against a top-10 team, what does this mean for, for the group, and, and where does this uh, leave this group uh, kind of heading? Well, I think... You know, this is the best, I guess, two games put together, back-to-back, against a really quality opponent. And, um, you know, I thought Isaac threw well today. And I think moving forward, it just shows, I mean, the kids have always felt like we could beat anybody at any time. It was just we had to play well. And we've played good defense, and we've been getting timely hits, and uh, we've been getting solid pitching up and down and throwing strikes and, and doing our thing. And we've kept them in the yard the most part. You know, the biggest thing we've done is we've kept innings small. When they score, it's a small number, with the exception of that ninth inning yesterday when they hit the three-run homer. But we were up seven at the time or six at the time. And so um, I think that's been the biggest thing. And, you know, I think guys are settling into who they are and what they need to do. And we've been kind of mixing things up, trying to get the spark. And um, the spark is really just playing consistently. You know, we felt like we could beat anybody, um, whether it was, you know, we feel like there's been plenty of games that we just haven't played well and lost, uh, games that we should have won. And we just handed to other teams. And if we can continue to play the way we're playing right now, then I think we're going to be in good shape when it's all said and done. And, and we'll be stronger for the struggles that we had early that, you know, we've had to overcome some things and, and figure some stuff out. But the kids haven't lost sight of what's still in front of them. And that's been my message to them all along is just – play well and play consistently for a long period of time and then the wins will be where they need to be at the end and we got to trust that i mean there's plenty of rpi games and all that other stuff that other people can worry about in front of us and we just have to win games that's what it comes down to